Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I will show you how to uh, publish data to an MQTT broker and um, subscribe and retrieve data to, uh, from an MQTT broker. All this using the Aviva Edge MQTT driver. So let's start. Uh, as always, I will start by creating a new project. So you can see that I'm, I'm doing everything from the scratch. So, okay, security system, I don't really need that. And I will add a new driver here, which is the MQTT driver. And I will open the main driver sheet. I need to configure a tag here, so I will create a team tag, which is tag one. Okay, tag one is a string. In the station field, I should configure the MQTT uh, broker uh, address, uh, IP address, or host name, etc., and the port number. So what I will be using is a public MQTT broker. This Hive MQ um, uh, website has published uh, some information about a, a public MQTT broker. They also offer an MQTT uh, client. So it, it, this is very useful to do testing. There are other options like Mosquito test server, but I like this one because it has a client online. So I will use the broker first. So let me copy this and I will put that in the station field and also the port number 1883 as is mentioned here uh, for the TCP IP port of this broker. So basically we are done. We need to specify an IO address. I will create a new space, which is edge um, slash uh, temp, temp one, for instance. And um, yeah, if I save the changes and I start the runtime, well, this viewer will start. But, uh, I don't really want the viewer to start. So I will stop it and set it to manual. Okay. And if I want to see what's happening, because I can put T1 here, and you can see the quality is uncertain. It should be good, it should be bad, <laughs> but uncertain is interesting. It's because this workspace and this MQTT item do, uh, doesn't exist. So let me enable read and write comments, insert date and time. And you will see here that it is connected to the broker, to the port, to the IO address and it says, okay, we are communicating properly. We have communication communication to the broker, but the data is uncertain because it doesn't exist. So we don't have any data there. Uh, and also if the data in the, in, the, uh, in the MQTT item is not retentive, you will also have uncertain. So this will change the next time that this uh, MQTT item receives an update. So, to make it receive an update, I will use this client. So let me put here the client. Um, let me modify this a little bit. Yep. So yeah, this is the same broker. If I will connect with it and I will try to publish to edge temp one. So what I will publish is, I don't know, 13.4. And you can see I'm publishing here on this website, which is connected to the same MQTT broker. And uh, since my MQTT client is uh, subscribed to the same MQTT broker, I'm able to receive and to retrieve the data from this uh, MQTT item. In the same way, if I, let's say I subscribe to this edge temp one MQTT topic, I can publish something like a uh, hello world. And you will see here, we have the right comment here in Navio Edge and we have this hello world as a message received by the WebSocket uh, MQTT client that HiveMQ put available online. The same way we can publish something new here. 
and the value will be received by the MQTT broker. Sorry, the MQTT, yeah, it will receive by the MQTT broker and that will be forwarded to the client. So this is a connected client, a subscriber, and it will receive the value in consequence. For sure, this is a very straightforward, a very simple way to test. So you can use it to test the driver or to check if you have maybe a local MQTT uh, broker and test the local MQTT broker, this is an online public broker. You can use it also. Uh, this is the port for unencrypted uh, anonymous, let's say, connections. But uh, the, the driver supports some other things, like you can use authentication. You can uh, authenticate also using certificates. Uh, you can basically download the certificate from the server or specify your certificate, you can configure a store and forward. The driver is, com is compatible with the uh, MQTT Spark plug, which is basically this. You only need to specify a prefix and use the standard driver sheet to, to make a Spark plug work. Uh, but basically that is, is the same thing. Oh, by the way, you can also receive, receive data in a JSON format. Probably you will see the full JSON here in a single line, uh, but uh, at the end you, you can you can um, you can populate tags with this uh, JSON data, right? You can decode the JSON and put the data in the tags uh, using the scripting. But uh, as you can see, you have several options here to, with the MQTT driver. But this is the most straightforward way to test it. So yeah, it works. So final test, yeah. So we are sending and receiving data. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, you have the comments section below. Thank you for watching.